Invincible, popular, unattractive, hit me along the internet cable, rebirth into a perfect world, the great demon god is my grandfather, and the wilderness emperor is my second brother. Get a divine level check that I end system at the beginning. Sign in. I'm familiar with this. Sign in. Give me TM sign in. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in at the foot of Lu Shen, obtaining the ancient dragon body, and conquering others with strength. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in at the blue scaled eagle nest and obtaining the golden winged Dapeng eagle. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in at Shircheng and obtaining the heavenly finger of the great wilderness prisoner. Ding, Congratulations to the host for signing in in the arms of Huolinger and receiving one drop of immortal phoenix essence blood. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in at the Butian Pavilion and obtaining one world tree seedling. The ancient battle dragon body, born invincible, never lost in life, destroyed the stone mansion, saved the great demon god, fought against the stone emperor, and became a generation of dragon emperor. Let's see the stone pushing invincible horizontally, sweeping all directions, and hanging and beating all kinds of opponents. Holding the sun, moon, and stars, there is no one like me in the world keywords of the novel. Perfect world. Opening check in Taiku Tsanglong body no pop-ups, perfect world. Opening check in Taiku Tsanglong body complete collection download, perfect world. Opening check in Taiku Tsanglong Body Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 De Huang, Tai Gu Tsang Long Ti, New Book, Seeking Collection, Seeking You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 De Huang, Tai Gu Tsang Long Ti, New Book, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets, De Huang, Tsang Mang Shan Shan, Shi Yuan In the early morning, the morning glow shone brightly, scattering like shattered gold, bathing warmly on people. An eight-year-old boy ran excitedly towards the huge willow tree at the village entrance. Following closely behind was a two- or three-year-old little one, drinking animal milk with a milky voice, Brother, wait for me, brother, wait for me. Shi Teng stopped and said anxiously, Little one, run faster. It's fast, they're already fast. Ouch! Sure how's two small feet stumbled onto the vines on the ground and rolled several times like a ball, just right at Sure Ting's feet. Sure Ting quickly helped Sure How up and said with concern, Little one, are you okay? Sure How wanted a carp to jump up from the ground, but due to his overweight physique, he just jumped up and fell to the ground again. The short body crawled up from the ground in a rolling motion. With a playful expression on his face, he said, hee hee, of course it's okay. Shi Ting pinched Shi Hao's chubby little face, lifted him to his neck, and quickly ran towards the willow tree at the village entrance. Shi Hao looked up at the willow tree in the distance, took two sips of animal milk, and then handed Shi Ting two sips. To be precise, this is a lightning-struck tree with a trunk diameter of over 10 meters, and its entire body is burnt black. Except for half of the main trunk, it only has a weak branch left, but it is emitting vitality. The branches and leaves are carved like green jade, and the gentle light spreads, enveloping a village. Sure how said curiously, Brother, what are we going to do so early? You'll know when you arrive, Sure Tang said excitedly. Sure Tang was originally an urban high school student, but just after the college entrance examination, he ran out of the examination room. If nothing unexpected happens, he can at least get into a junior college. Walking happily home, looking up, I saw a QR code formed by clouds in the sky and scanned it with my hands. Then he was reborn into the perfect world plane and became the brother of the ancient first battle force, Shi Tang, who climbed to the nine heavens and swept through the imperial gates in the perfect world. We also obtained the essential item for travelers. A divine level check that I end system. You can sign in anywhere, or you can choose to sign in continuously in one place. The more special the place you sign in, the more extraordinary the rewards you receive. Life is so unpredictable, the large intestine surrounds the small intestine. 
Shi Tang, who has seen the perfect world, knows very well that the willow god who guards Shirtsuan is the supreme immortal king giant, with unparalleled glory and unparalleled strength. Known as ancestral worship of spirits, his combat power shook the past and the present. He once single-handedly entered a foreign land, nine in and nine out, killing the immortal king of the foreign land who was frightened by the news. On a night filled with thunder and lightning, carrying ten thousand thunder tribulations, they descended upon Shirtsuan. Sign in at the foot of Lu Shen and you will definitely get a good treasure. The more Shi Ting thought about it, the more excited his heart became. The two brothers arrived at the feet of Lu Shen. Shi Ting looked around Lu Shen, but couldn't see anything as impressive as in the novel. It's a bit disgusting to cut and burn. Shi Ting tried several times at the feet of Lu Shen, but the divine level check that IN system did not respond at all. System, what's going on? We haven't checked in yet. Ding, the host needs to resonate with the outside world in order to have a chance to trigger the divine level check that IN system. Oh, I see. Resonance. Xiao Bu Dian, give me your beast's milk, Lu Shen should also love to eat milk. Without hesitation, Shi Hao handed his favorite animal milk to his brother. These animal milk were personally cooked by Shi Ting for him, and in addition, Shi Ting loves his younger brother very much on weekdays. So Shi Hao listens very much to his brother's words. If it were anyone else, Shi Hao would have to fight against him, snatching my animal milk would be like killing my parents, it would be a hundred times more deadly. Watching the animal milk flowing through Lu Shen's body, Shi Hao couldn't help but lick his lips, and the corners of his mouth were still slightly milky white. After a pause, the system still hasn't responded at all. Nima, doesn't Lu Shen like to drink milk? That's right, plants need fertilizer, they should be fertilized. Wrong direction. Come again. Shi Ting turned around and said, Little one, come and pour some natural fertilizer on the willow tree. Shi Hao was startled and said, Ah, brother, isn't that good? The clan leader and grandfather said that this willow god is the guardian god of our stone village. Shi Ting sneered, Yes, it's because it's the guardian god of our village. So we need to water it with more fertilizer so that the willow god can grow better, just like how the patriarch often fertilizes the plants around him, he grows tall and strong Shi Hao understood in an instant. Oh, yes. I only heard the sound of sizzling, the huge body of Lu Shen trembled slightly, and the emerald green willow twigs kept undulating, so angry that he wished he could just rise up from the ground. Dare to pee on my mother, can you bear such a big cause and effect? Emerald vines rose into the air, gently brushing over the bodies of the two brothers, Shi Tang and Shi Hao. The two brothers were startled and quickly took a few steps back. Fortunately, they are only two bare kids, otherwise the two brothers would probably have fallen on the spot, the ending of the whole book. Move, move, Lucian moved. Shi Ting's face showed an excited expression. Sure enough. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in at the foot of the willow god and obtaining. The origin of the ancient dragon. At this moment, a golden bead exploded in front of Shi Ting's eyes, as if he could hear a roar from ancient times in the light body. The origin of ancient Tsanglong, the source of life from the divine beast Tsanglong in the immortal realm, the leader of the dragon clan, one of the earliest creatures in the world. Absorbing it can possess the ancient Tsanglong body, with its physical body overlooking all worlds and immune to the energy of the five elements. To the extreme of cultivation, one can become a god with their physical body, break through ten thousand methods with one force, and pick the sun, moon, and stars with their hands. The physical body never dies, only I never die, upon seeing the introduction, Shi Tang was instantly dumbfounded. It's amazing. The ancient dragon body is suitable for a fierce man like me at first glance. Conquer others with strength, let those who do not obey me become dead. Shi Ting did not hesitate at all and quickly absorbed the origin of the ancient Tsanglong. The golden light merged into his chest, and the raging power of the ancient dragon began to flow towards his limbs. 
Roar! In the blink of an eye, a phantom of an ancient dragon appeared on Shirting's chest. The whole body is full of energy and blood, full of strength. I estimate one punch can blow up a cow. Ha ha ha. Shirting's face showed an excited expression, the system in hand, I have it in the world. What a familiar aura. Lu Shen's body trembled slightly, and a deep female voice reminded them in their ears. Shi Ting's face showed a hint of shock, not expecting that Lu Shen was really a woman. After she takes shape, make sure to get her. Mine, mine, all mine. Shi Ting quickly bowed and said, Sister Lu, our two brothers just want to fertilize you and make you grow faster. Cough. Lu Shen couldn't help but cough lightly. Then I have to thank you all. You can have more animal milk, but don't use any other fertilizers. Shirting couldn't help but smirk foolishly. By the way, what kind of aura is on you that makes me feel so familiar, Lu Xun continued. Although the voice is a bit hoarse, it invisibly gives a sense of dominance. Shirting put away the smile on his face and said in a friendly tone, Have you ever heard of the ancient dragon body, Sister Lu Xun? Tai Gu Tsung Long T. Lu Xun's tone revealed a shocked expression. The voice murmured softly. Holding the sun, moon, and stars, there is no one like me in the world. Stepping on Yin and Yang to conquer the universe, I am revered from ancient times to this day. Tai Gu Tsung Long T. Between words, the voice is profound and majestic, making one's heart and blood boil. Shi Ting seemed to see a giant dragon coming from the void, holding ten heavens and nine earth, suppressing eternity and immortality. New book newcomers, if there are any issues, everyone can raise them, and I will carefully listen to everyone's opinions. I also hope that everyone can click on their favorites and get free recommended tickets. Newcomers need support, thank you, author. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Qing Tian Hualong Technique, Medicine Bath New Book, Seeking Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Qing Tian Hualong Technique, Medicine Bath New Book, Seeking Collection, Ahem The branches of the willow god swayed left and right, and his tone was shocked as he said, What a great ancient dragon body! I didn't expect my willow god to see the ancient dragon body again in his lifetime. I think back then. Lu Xun didn't finish speaking, but his tone was filled with endless emotion. It can be seen that there must be some special stories between her and the ancient dragon body. Lu Xun paused for a moment before speaking again, well, well, maybe this is your chance. I happen to have a set of treasures here that are perfect for you. Shi Ting's face showed an excited expression. This system is pretty good, buy one get one free. I saw the emerald green branches of the willow god gently swaying, and a white light sprayed out from the withered trunk. A precious bone fell into Shi Ting's hand. This is a set of supreme treasures of the dragon clan. The Qin Tian Hualong technique, which can use the qi of the heavenly dragon to enter and cultivate the Qin Long skin, at the peak of cultivation, its physical strength is almost comparable to those of the real dragon race. To achieve great success, one needs to enter the ancient dragon pool of the dragon clan to condense the dragon bones. Its power is no less than the ancient ten evil treasures looking at the precious bone in his hand, Shi Ting's face showed an excited expression. Thank you very much for the reward from Sister Lu Shen. From now on, I will send you animal milk every day. Lu Xun nodded lightly and said, Animal milk seems to be only suitable for this little doll to drink. It would be even better if you could get me some precious blood. Shi Ting nodded fiercely. Well, once I understand this set of Qing Tian Hualong technique, I'll go find the precious blood for Sister Lu Xun. Lu Xun chuckled softly and said, Sister Lu Xun, I don't know how many epics there are between us, it's just that. Emotions have nothing to do with time, meeting is fate. You are older than me, so naturally I will call you sister. Dot. Cough cough. Lu Xun once again let out a soft laugh. 
In the final battle of the Xiangu era, she once single-handedly entered the other side of the world, nine in and nine out, bathed in enemy blood, traversed the sky and earth, and killed the exotic demon gods who were frightened and turned pale when they heard the news. However, due to the imbalance in the number of peak powerhouses between the two realms, Lu Shen could only wither and come to Shirtsuan with a gloomy ending. It has been a long time since I spoke up. At this moment, someone was talking to her, calling her sister, and a touch of warmth couldn't help but come from her heart. Xiao Bu Dian stood on the side, with a puzzled expression on her face, however, he could still see that his brother must be holding some treasure. Master Lu, even if you're young, you still want your baby. Did you just drink my animal milk said the milky voice, hee hee, little doll, your bones are also good, countless stronger than your peers in the village. However, if you want to receive my reward, you still need my recognition. You can't achieve it yet. Oh. Xiao Bu Dian responded somewhat disappointed. Then he lifted his head and said, that's agreed. When I become as powerful as my brother, Lord Lu Shen will also reward me with a treasure. Lu Shen nodded lightly. Then let's wait until you become as powerful as your brother. Shi Teng bowed to Lu Shen with a friendly tone and said, Goodbye, Sister Lu Shen. We should also go back, otherwise we will definitely be spanked by the clan leader's grandfather. Shi Teng thanked Lu Shen and eagerly took Shi Hao back to the village. Lu Shen's thoughts lingered on the two of them, and he immediately fell into contemplation. At this time, countless tribal people had already gathered on the square, on the ground, there are nine large cauldrons, which have already been filled with the medicinal liquid specially brewed by the clan chief's grandfather, along with some ordinary herbs, as well as the true blood of ferocious beasts hunted back by the adults in the village. The old clan chief also painstakingly crushed the wing bones of the flying python and the foot bones of the kuei beast, and threw them into the boiling water, medicine bath can strengthen muscles and strengthen bones, promote blood circulation and refine tendons. If one can persist in medicine bath, their muscles and bones can be comparable to giant beasts, only in the future can one have the capital to survive in this vast mountain range. The old clan chief also took extra care of the two brothers Shirtang. He had no son and taught them as his own grandchildren since childhood. Seeing the two brothers come back, the old clan chief's face suddenly became serious, holding a scepter in his left hand and speaking seriously, Shirtang, where did you take Xiao Bu Jian with you in the early morning? Shirtang grabbed the back of his head and a playful smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. I heard that the clan chief grandpa is going to let us take a medicinal bath today, so I'm taking my younger brother to worship Lord Lu Shen. I hope that after taking the medicine bath, our bodies can become even stronger, and in the future, we can be as tall and strong as our uncles, protecting the village. Shi Yunfeng nodded, his face slightly relieved. I really like Shi Teng. Several sturdy uncles couldn't help but lift their heads slightly, their faces showing a look of arrogance. Before taking a medicinal bath, worship is required, as the old clan leader recited complex spells, all the members of the clan gathered and prayed solemnly to the sky. It lasted for almost half a column of incense. The old clan leader only stopped reciting spells. With a high tone, he said, All right, children, the medicinal bath is starting. The faces of the two brothers Shi Tang and Shi Hao were already somewhat eager. Shi Hao has loved taking medicinal baths since he was young, and every time he takes a medicinal bath, he feels very comfortable soaking in a hot spring. Shi Tang has just obtained the Taiga True Dragon Body and also needs to absorb powerful medicinal nourishment. Other children are somewhat resistant. The true blood of ferocious beasts entering the body can cause heart-piercing pain in the muscles and bones of the whole body. A few children even hid behind adults. Shouting loudly, No, I don't want to take a medicine bath. Last time it was like cutting with a knife. Woo-woo, that's not just a medicinal bath, it's almost cooked us. But a few children can't be more stubborn than adults. They were thrown directly into the medicine cauldron, struggling desperately in it. 
The old village chief looked at the two brothers Shir Tang and said, Shir Tang, Shir Hao, you two brothers should also go in. The two nodded. Leap into two independent cauldrons. It was specially prepared for them by the old village head. It not only added the blood of ferocious animals, but also the essence of ferocious animals, which is their essence. The boiling true chi in the cauldron where Shir Tang was located formed a phantom with a twin-headed rhinoceros, completely enveloping him. In an instant, he felt the roar of an ancient dragon coming from within. The powerful aura instantly dispersed the phantom of the two-headed rhinoceros, sending a strong aura. Everyone couldn't help but look at Shir Tang, wow, Xia Tengzi is really amazing. Did you just see it? I seem to have seen the phantom of a green dragon, Shir Fei Jiao couldn't help but rub his eyes. Shir Lin Hu's eyes were resolute, and his eyes were filled with shock. He spoke in a low tone, we're not blind. The old clan chief held a scepter in his left hand and gently stroked his long beard with his right hand. Is a golden scale a thing in the pool? It turns into a dragon in the face of wind and clouds. Shirlin Hu followed suit and said, I'm looking forward to this child growing up quickly. Adults have seen the extraordinary qualities of their two brothers since childhood, and they have never cared about the favoritism of the old clan leader. Those with excellent talents should be focused on cultivation. For those with ordinary talents, no matter how much ferocious beast true blood they use, herbs can only strengthen their health at most. Shirting floated in the center of the medicine cauldron, with an excited expression on his face. He could clearly feel that the ancient dragon in his body was crazily absorbing the true blood of the ferocious beast and other medicinal treasures in the medicine cauldron. Not long after, the medicine liquid, which was originally as turbid as ink, turned into clear water. The other children were struggling desperately in the cauldron. It hurts so much, it's like a knife scraping. Dad, please help me. I can't take it anymore, I really can't take it anymore. A few children wanted to jump out, but were pushed into the cauldron by the adults. Practicing is always a painful thing. Only by enduring hardships can one become a superior person. Forge your body, wash your tendons and marrow. After another period of time, I couldn't bear watching the children anymore. The old clan leader just spoke up and said, All right, let them out. As soon as the adults let go, a few children rushed out of the medicine cauldron like monkeys. Double pupils are already invincible, why borrow someone else's bone again? End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Moving Blood Realm, Shirting Li Wei, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Moving Blood Realm, Shirting Li Wei, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets, Shir Hao was very calm there, neither crying nor making noise, quietly soaking in the medicine cauldron. Before long, both eyes narrowed together, as if they were about to fall asleep. Gudong. The body sank into the medicine cauldron and took a strong sip of the medicine. He saw a series of bubbles popping out of the medicine cauldron, and surprisingly, he drank all the liquid in the pool. The adults also showed a shocked expression on their faces. I don't know what this little guy's stomach is made of, he can drink so much medicine. Grandpa, I'm so tired. The old clan chief lifted Shir Hao out of the cauldron, wrapped him in animal skin, and said softly, Hmm, sleep, sleep. When you wake up, you'll become stronger. Shi Teng saw that his body had no longer reacted, and the entire medicine cauldron had completely turned into clear water. I also jumped out with my body. The whole body's skin revealed a golden hue, looking even more robust. The crowd couldn't help but nod lightly, this kid is really powerful, he can actually absorb all the real blood of the fierce beast in the cauldron. The old clan chief spoke up and said, Shi Teng, Let's take Xiao Bu Jian back and rest. Shi Teng looked at the other cauldrons still emitting heat, with a pitch black color inside. It seemed that there were still many fierce beasts with true blood inside, and he could clearly feel that his body was still very hungry. Well, Grandpa, I see that those medicinal liquids still have a lot of ferocious beast real blood left. 
can I soak them in other cauldrons as well? The old clan leader's eyebrows twitched slightly, oh, of course you can. The other adults showed a shocked expression on their faces again, I didn't expect this kid's body to be saturated yet. As they watched the remaining seven cauldrons turn into clear water, everyone showed a stunned expression. Shirting also jumped out of the last cauldron with great satisfaction. Comfortable. To everyone's surprise, in just a few hours, Shirting's body underwent tremendous changes. The muscles and bones throughout the body have become much tighter, and even the limbs have grown significantly, especially in certain areas. Shi Teng bowed to the crowd with great satisfaction and said, Thank you very much for bringing back the fierce beast true blood. When Xiao Tingzi grows up, he will definitely repay you well. Grandpa, then I'll take Xiao Bu Jian back to rest. He then hugged Shi Hao and returned to the stone house. Watching Shi Ting's receding figure, everyone stood still for a long time. Perhaps this child can really bring hope to Shirtsuan and provide shelter from the wind and rain. Only the old clan chief knew that their identity was far beyond that, and how could the small stone village imprison their steps? The Peng rises with the wind one day, soaring up 90,000 miles. I just hope that when they are strong, they can still remember the place where they grew up. Shirting lay cross legged on the stone bed, lost in thought while Xiao Bu Jian slept quietly on the side, making a sound of deep sleep. Shi Ting frowned, and the perfect world saw the rise of numerous heroes, with countless tribes and saints vying for supremacy. Strength was paramount in everything. At present, he is only eight years old, and he still needs to stay in Shirtsuan, work hard to sign in, improve his strength, and then go out to explore. A life where risks and opportunities coexist is called life. Only with a proud and golden body, a domineering horizontal railing, and an indomitable soul can one subdue them. Unlike in my past life, I was busy living like a dog. I don't know how my parents are doing now, I guess they are still frantically searching for themselves. Alas, life is unpredictable and uncertain. Ding! Congratulations to the host for checking in in the room and obtaining 10 bottles of body-quenching spirit liquid. Shirting didn't think too much and took it out directly. He gulped down 5 bottles and left 5 bottles for Xiao Bu Jian. The medicine bath just now has made his muscles and bones strong and full of strength. After taking the body-quenching spirit liquid, Shirting could clearly observe that the body-quenching spirit liquid had expelled all impurities from their bodies. The whole body is full of essence and blood, rolling like thunder, full of strength. This should be the first realm of cultivation. The realm of moving blood. Mobilize the essence and blood of the whole body, rolling like thunder, refine bone inscriptions, and stimulate divine radiance in the blood, thereby refining the creation of heaven and earth and nourishing the flesh. It can reach a maximum body weight of 100,000 pounds. In the perfect world, the supreme realm is divided into the blood-moving realm, the cave heaven realm, the spirit-transforming realm, the inscription realm, the array realm, and the venerable realm. Under the supreme authority, all are ants. At present, he is only in the lowest level of blood transfer. Shi Ting took out the treasure bone gifted by Lu Shen, which was carved with some strange runes. Mind micro movement stimulates the injection of spiritual power into the precious bones throughout the body. Buzz. Before he could fully comprehend the mystery, the system had already made a sound. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Qinglong treasure technique. The Qinglong treasure technique has five layers in total the first layer is green dragon skin. Second layer Qinglong scale. Third level. The whole body is transformed into a dragon, and green dragon wings grow. Fourth level. Qinglong transformation fifth level. Transforming the keel. The current system has helped the host unlock the first layer, Qinglong skin, which can activate Qinglong technique. The whole body can be covered with a layer of Qinglong skin, which is as hard as iron and cannot be damaged by ordinary swords and spears. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the extended move of Qinglong treasure technique. 
Qing Long tears the heavenly hand, which has a tremendous power of 10,000 pounds and can tear ordinary ferocious beasts by hand. Looking at the moves revealed in his mind, Shi Ting's face showed a hint of joy. Not afraid of opponents having culture, just afraid of opponents cheating. There is a system that is indeed amazing, without the need for cultivation, the system can automatically help improve strength. He he. Shi Ting placed five bottles of quenched spirit liquid on the stone bed, and then walked out of the stone house with his head held high. Who? Shi Ting had just walked out of the stone house when a small stone hit him. Shi Ting's body trembled slightly, and the small stone Tang was directly thrown out by the shock. I feel a little happy in my heart, it seems that I have indeed become stronger. There are several children hanging upside down on the ancient tree next to Shi Tang, who are about the same age as Shi Tang. They are Shi Tianba, the son of the strongest person in the village, Shi Linhu, the son of Shi Shoshan, the Pai Ho, and Shi Fei Jiao, the son of Shi Tianbao. These boys bullied Xiao Bu Jian a few days ago and got into a fight with them themselves, even wearing a badge. I'm probably here to cause trouble now. Thirty years in the East and thirty years in the West, do not deceive young people into poverty. I might not have been able to defeat the three of them before, but in the blink of an eye, I guess even their father is not his opponent, let alone them. Shi Ting turned back fiercely, his eyes shooting a brilliant light. The skin monkey was startled and almost fell directly from the tree. However, his body was also very agile. He grabbed another tree and swung around it, landing lightly on the ground. There is also a shallow scar on Shi Tianba's forehead, which was hit by Shi Teng with a stick. He is like a fierce tiger, deeply rooted in his father's true legend. Although he is only ten years old, his body is already very sturdy, and it is said to be able to lift a thousand pounds. He saw a fierce light burst out from his eyes, and a granite that was several times larger than before hit Shi Ting again. Shi Ting grabbed the granite smashed by Shi Tianba, with a slight force from the right hand, the hard granite turned into powder. Everyone showed a shocked expression on their faces, but they didn't expect that after just taking a medicinal bath, this kid had become so strong. Shi Ting's eyes trembled slightly, and his right fist struck fiercely on the ground. I only heard a roar, and the surrounding ground shook, even the ancient trees not far away began to shake, emitting a powerful aura that made people shiver. Then he leapt up, his speed several times faster than before, and hit the nearby boulder with a punch. Boom boom. The giant stone instantly shattered into a pile of crushed stones. The three of them couldn't help but tremble as they looked at the power emanating from Shi Tang. If this punch hits them, it's not worth it. To shed blood on steel bones, my life is determined by me, not by heaven. Shi Ting said in a cold tone, we are all from the same village, and I don't want to hurt you. I hope you don't provoke me, let alone bully Xiao Bu Jian. Otherwise, don't blame me for being impolite. The three of them nodded consecutively. Watching Shi Ting's back disappear. Shi Tang, originally only 1.7 meters tall, instantly grew countless times taller in their hearts. The Peng rises with the wind one day, soaring up 90,000 miles. If there are any amazing classic quotes, please leave them to the author. I will use them later to make the novel even more amazing. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 This son, Shi Tang, has the capital of the great emperor, new book, Seeking Votes. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 This son, Shi Tang, has the capital of the great emperor, new book, Seeking Votes. Shi Tang avoided the people in the village and jumped towards the entrance of the village. Now at least he is also a strong player in the blood-moving realm, with a tremendous strength of 10,000 pounds. It should be no problem for him to go out and wave around before coming back. Maybe we can still sign in for a good baby. Shi Teng arrived at the village entrance and bowed to Lu Shen again, Sister Lu Shen, thank you very much for your Qing Tian Hualong technique. When I become stronger, I will definitely repay you well. 
The emerald green branches of Lu Xun emitted a sparkling light, gently brushing over Shi Ting's body. In a somewhat shocked tone, he said, Kid, your comprehension ability is good. In just one day, you have actually entered a blood transfusion realm that ordinary people will never be able to enter in their lifetime. Shi Ting shyly scratched the back of his head and said, Hee hee, isn't that thanks to the Qinglong treasure technique bestowed by Sister Lu Xun? Lu Xun nodded. Shi Ting then ran towards the outside of the village, gently brushing the green branches of the Willow God. Shi Ting was immediately thrown out by a bomb. Kid, amidst the vast mountains and valleys of the wilderness, wild beasts roam freely, and ancient relics abound. With just your limited strength, you dare to venture outside. Do you want to go out and give away human heads? Shi Ting spoke up and said, I naturally know this, but I can't just stay here because I'm afraid of death. Sister Lu Shen can protect us for a while, but how can she protect us for a lifetime? We have to rely on ourselves to find strength and opportunities. Lu Shen nodded slightly and couldn't help but look at Shi Ting with admiration. It is already very rare to have this kind of consciousness at a young age. Great, it looks like you're ready. Shi Ting continued, not to mention preparation, it's not a problem to save the dog's life. Great, as long as you can lift up my vines, I'll let you out. Looking at the verdant branch of Lu Shen, Shi Ting smiled unfriendly. This is not easy. I immediately grabbed the branch of the willow god and gently exerted force, but the willow tree remained motionless. I'll go. Shi Ting's eyes lit up fiercely, his arms exerting force simultaneously, and the willow twigs remained motionless. Shi Ting suddenly became unhappy and said, Sister, this is clearly a scam. Lu Xun showed a light smile and said, I didn't say I can't deceive. Shi Ting's eyes suddenly burst out with a fierce light, and he punched Lu Xun. He also wants to see how much his current strength differs from Lu Xun. Lu Xun just swayed the willow twigs lightly, and Shi Ting flew out completely. Undoubtedly, it is known as ancestor worship, and it is indeed very strong. However, Shi Ting felt a little unwilling in his heart and let out a loud roar, come again. A phantom of an ancient dragon appeared all over the body, and with fierce force from both feet, a punch hit Lu Xun again. This time, Shi Ting was once again shaken and flew out, hitting the ground heavily. Lu Xun's face also showed a shocked expression, truly worthy of the ancient dragon body, and his physical strength was indeed domineering. Shi Ting's strike was a tremendous force of 30,000 pounds. However, Lu Xun did not praise him, so as not to make him proud, he still mocked and said, Why, with just this strength, you still want to come up with Shimura? Shi Ting's body had just fallen to the ground, and he leaped up again, shooting a fierce light from his eyes. No, come again. Shi Ting let out a loud roar from his mouth, Qing Long tears the heavenly hand. Two blue dragon claws grabbed onto the vine of the willow god, and their arms exerted tremendous force, with every move and gesture, one can clearly see two dragon claws tearing at the vines of the willow god. Lu Shen was once again shocked. In just one day, this kid had actually comprehended the Qinglong treasure technique. At a young age, one can have such talent. If there is even a little chance, the future will be limitless. It is truly from there. This son Shi Ting has the wealth of a great emperor. Watching Shi Ting desperately tearing, Lu Shen's willow twigs trembled slightly and struggled out of Shi Ting's hands in an instant. Make way. Shi Ting's face was slightly surprised, you're not stopping me. Lu Xun said in a low tone, your strength has already proven yourself, go. Shi Ting thanked Lu Xun and jumped out directly from the village entrance. Looking around, the entire wilderness is vast and boundless, with peaks and valleys around it, and vast and towering mountains. Wu. A gust of strong wind blew by, and a huge black cloud covered the entire sky. A fierce bird cry came from the sky, piercing through the golden rocks and originating from that dark cloud. Upon closer inspection, it turned out to be an incredible giant bird, covering the sky and sun for an unknown distance. 
Shu Ting's body couldn't help but tremble slightly. Wow, what a big giant bird. The inside and outside of Shimura are simply two different worlds. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in on the wilderness and obtaining the damaged axe of heaven asterisk one Xing Tian, an ancient demon god, was originally a fierce general under the command of Emperor Yan. Due to his disobedience to the Shenyuan clan, he engaged in a great battle with the Yellow Emperor. Xingtian's weapon is Xingtian Axe, ranking among the top 10 demon weapons. It has been sealed and can only exert one thousandth of its strength. It needs to be nourished by the blood of the ancient demon god in order to restore its former demonic power. Shi Ting's face showed a hint of joy, and this vast wilderness is indeed a wonderful world. Although it's just a broken axe, it's still one of the top ten magic weapons. After repairing it, it should be very strong. Shi Ting's mind twitched slightly, and a huge battle axe appeared on his right hand, completely pitch black. It was carved with runes from ancient demon gods and looked like a fierce beast, grinning its teeth. Shi Ting struck the ground with an axe, and the entire ground was instantly cut into a ravine. Although it can only exert one thousandth of its strength, it is already very powerful. Shi Tang and a few others jumped towards the distant peak. Since they came out, they should take a good look. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in at Qing Tian Peak and obtaining the 100,000 Yujiopin Purple Ganoderma Asterisk 1 Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in at the double-headed rhinoceros territory and obtaining a 100,000-year-old chicken crown phoenix sunflower asterisk one looking around. There are countless wild beasts running through the mountains and forests in the entire wilderness. In the valley not far away, a pair of headed rhinoceros is leisurely searching for food. Suddenly, I saw a figure leap up from the nearby grass, and a huge battle axe fiercely slashed towards the two-headed rhinoceros. Such a powerful blow, even the skin of the two horned rhinoceroses did not break open. The twin-headed rhinoceros was frightened and immediately panicked as it flew around in all directions. Two people reappeared in the forest, throwing a big net and covering their heads with fiery rhinoceroses. However, it didn't have much effect. The twin-headed fire rhinoceros quickly flew and dragged the two of them to the ground in an instant. Shi Ting's eyebrows moved slightly, these people were none other than the adults of Shirtsuan. The leader is the strongest warrior in Shirtsuan, the stone forest tiger. He is extremely tall, over two meters tall, carrying a giant axe weighing over 300 pounds. He is as strong as a human bear, with bronze-colored muscles all over his body, like snakes and pythons swimming. Sherlin who held a battle axe and his huge body closely followed behind his two-headed rhinoceros. Seizing the opportunity, the battle axe in hand flew out in an instant, slashing at the feet of the two-headed fire rhinoceros. The twin-headed horned rhinoceros immediately collapsed on the ground with a roar in its mouth. Shi Ting shook his head gently and said, Alas, the law of survival in nature is that the weak eat the strong, and the strong claim to be king, there's fresh barbecue to eat again tonight. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Fierce beasts kneel down, must have demands. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Fierce beasts kneel down, must have demands Shi Teng had just turned around when the two-headed rhinoceros in the distance suddenly let out a roar and became irritable in an instant. The huge double-headed force forcefully lifted the two big men out. Shi Lin Hu's eyes burst out with a fierce light and he roared loudly, Animal, suffer death. Jumping up, the giant axe in his hand fiercely swung towards the heads of the two-headed rhinoceros. The twin-headed rhinoceros is just an ordinary ferocious beast, with a body as hard as iron. Eating its meat can make human muscles, bones, and skin as strong as iron blocks. Its true blood and true element are retained in the rhinoceros horn, so it will better protect the rhinoceros horn. Watching the stone forest tiger wielding a giant axe slashing towards his own head. The two-headed rhinoceros saw the right moment and suddenly kicked out the hind foot, knocking the stone forest tiger away with one kick. 
The twin-headed rhinoceros is as tall as three zhang, and its entire hind foot is as thick and thin as a bucket. The power of one foot is enough to instantly kill an ordinary person. Thanks to the rough skin and thick flesh of the stone forest tiger. Puff. Shi Lin Hu slammed his body onto the ground, spewing out a mouthful of thick blood, probably from a serious injury. Shi Fei Jiao quickly rushed towards Shi Lin Hu, looking concerned and saying, Brother Hu, are you okay? Shi Lin Hu sat upright on the ground, caressing his chest with his right hand. He couldn't move for a moment and said in a low tone, Don't worry about me, kill the two headed rhinoceros first. There's no food left in the village. Shi Fei Jiao nodded, knowing that over 300 people in the village were waiting for them to bring food back. With eyes wide open and a loud voice, let's all go up together. Four or five men launched an attack on the two-headed rhinoceros together. A battle axe slashed at the hard bodies of the two-headed rhinoceros, but it couldn't break through their skin. However, the pain still made the two-horned rhinoceros roar, desperately trying to escape, but being trapped by everyone's fine nets. Watching everyone launch another attack, the two-headed rhinoceros suddenly opened its huge mouth and immediately spewed out a scorching fireball. The two men raised their battle axes to resist. Instantly knocked away. The two-headed rhinoceros exerted force on its limbs, and its sharp horns immediately rushed towards the stone flying dragon. Shi Fei Jiao is not as robust as Shi Lin Hu, but as its name suggests, its body is agile, like a dragon in the water. He didn't dodge, but quickly charged towards the two-headed rhinoceros. Everyone's faces trembled slightly, not knowing what Shi Fei Jiao wanted. Perhaps he wanted to confront the two-headed fire rhinoceros head. On this is not a head iron. But just as one person and one beast were about to collide, Shi Fei Jiao's feet immediately exerted force, leaped up, and rode directly onto the heads of the two-headed fire rhinoceros. One hand tightly hugged the horns of the two-horned rhinoceros, while the other hand forcefully hit the heads of the two-horned rhinoceros. Make a bang 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 sound. Both heads were screaming in pain, constantly shaking their heads. At the same time, several others quickly attacked the two-headed rhinoceros, taking advantage of this opportunity to hold on to the front feet of the two-headed rhinoceros. With a fierce force, the two-headed rhinoceros lost control of its front and feet, and its entire body immediately fell to the ground. The sound of whooshing in the mouth seemed to be making a final struggle. After struggling for a while, he completely stopped moving. Shi Teng smiled lightly at the corner of his mouth, and there was still a huge gap between an ordinary person and a ferocious beast. Just a two-headed rhinoceros needs to consume so much manpower and energy to surround and kill. But how is it different from what is written in the novel? Shouldn't a blue-scaled eagle come to grab food at this time? Shi Fei Jiao saw that the two-headed rhinoceros had no reaction, so he jumped down from the body. A joyful expression appeared on his face. Find someone to tie up this beast and lift it back. With such a big head, it should be enough for everyone to eat for three to five days. Then he turned around and said, Brother Tiger, are you okay? Shi Lin Hu gently caressed his chest, shook his head slightly, and a hint of relief appeared on his rough face. Finally, the villagers didn't have to go hungry. Then his face changed drastically and he shouted, Be careful. As soon as he finished speaking, Huashi suddenly opened his eyes again, opening his huge mouth, he sprayed a fireball towards the stone flying dragon and hit it straight on his back. The whole person rolled on the ground a few times, with flesh and blood on their back, and instantly passed out. The two-headed rhinoceros, with crimson eyes and bloodstains all over its body, once again climbed up from the ground and let out a roar as it looked up. Emit a powerful aura. Other villagers took a few steps back in fear when they saw the situation. I am also very puzzled in my heart, I don't know why, this twin-headed rhinoceros is so difficult to deal with today. The tiger teeth of Sherlin are tightly clenched. As the leaders of Shirtsuan, their purpose of going out this time is to search for prey for the tribe. 
everyone in the village is waiting for them to go back. He seemed to have another scene of villagers starving and children making noise in his mind. Shirlene whose eyes burst out with a burst of determination, and he stood up with a battle axe to support himself with some difficulty. Don't be afraid, everyone. This beast is already at the end of the crossbow. Let's work together to kill it. The villagers are all waiting for us to go back, he said loudly thinking of the relatives and children in the village, the four or five men were once again full of motivation. Under the command of Shirlene Hu, an attack was launched. No matter how they attack, this two-headed rhinoceros has not given up. After falling to the ground several times in a row, he still stood up again, his originally hard as iron body already covered in bloodstains. Sometimes he deliberately protects his round belly. Shi Taizhan stood in place, supported by a battle axe, panting heavily. He murmured, Brother Tiger, no, really no, this beast is still a two-headed fire rhinoceros. I doubt if it is an ancient seed, but I still don't give up resistance. Shi Taizhu also spoke up and said, Brother Hu, I can't do it either. My whole body is exhausted and I won't even run. If we continue to work hard, we'll probably all fall here. I think we should give up this two-headed rhinoceros and later go to the forest to pick some wild fruits for our tribe to satisfy our hunger Sure Taizhan continued, yes, tiger brother, let's give up. Fei Jiao is also seriously injured and must be taken back to seek treatment from the clan leader as soon as possible, otherwise there may be life-threatening consequences. Shirlin Hu's face showed unwillingness. However, there really isn't any good solution right now. It's impossible to cut off several brothers for the loss of a twin-headed rhinoceros. Then he nodded lightly. Two big men helped Shir Fei Jiao up, and a group of seven men prepared to leave with each other. At this moment, a figure suddenly ran into the distance with a cheerful voice, saying, How could I possibly let the tribe have no meat to eat? Let's leave it to me. Shir Teng. The appearance of Shir Teng shocked everyone unusually. Watching Shir Teng punch towards the two headed rhinoceros. Shir Lin Hu looked worried and said, Xiao Tengzi, come back quickly. You're not its opponent. As soon as the words fell, everyone's eyes couldn't help but tremble. Bang! With just one punch, the two headed rhinoceros, which had been standing still, flew out and hit the ground heavily. The whole ground shook in a wave. Everyone's faces were filled with astonishment. This. Shi Ting took a flying step and threw the fire rhinoceros with both hands, lifting its two heads. Then he raised the punishment axe obtained from the check that I N and prepared to take out the precious blood from his rhinoceros horn to give to Lu Shen. Animal, die for me. Just as Shi Teng was lifting his axe, the two-headed fire rhinoceros stood up again, their knees softening, kneeling at Shi Teng's feet with a bang. Her crimson eyes were filled with tears. Shi Teng hesitated when he lifted the heavenly axe. Shi Taizhu spoke up and said, the fierce beast kneels down, there must be something to ask for. Shi Taizhan also spoke up, when we first launched an attack, I noticed that it often deliberately protected its belly. Look at its round belly, do you think there are cubs in its belly? Shi Ting's eyes were slightly bright, and he carefully examined them, and it was indeed so. The two-headed rhinoceros has a round belly, and those who don't know think it's because it's full. However, upon closer inspection, you will find that its milk is full and its skin is shiny. It looks like it won't take long to give birth. I advise you not to eat March Christian carp, as thousands of young fish are in your belly. Advise the emperor not to strike the three spring birds, and wait for the mother to return in the nest. Although you have to eat meat, you can't be too cruel. It's like one corpse with two lives. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Fresh Beast Milk, Sign In at the Foot of Lu Shen, New Book, Seeking Collection you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Fresh Beast Milk, Sign In at the Foot of Lu Shen, New Book, Collection Request, Ticket Request, Shirting's heart softened and he was about to release these two-headed rhinoceroses. 
But on second thought, this beast seems to have plenty of milk, just enough to bring it back to Shirtsuan, so that the little one can drink fresh animal milk every day. Upon this thought, Shirtin couldn't help but show a wicked smile at the corner of his mouth. I am simply a genius. Shirting's face became serious as he raised his voice and said, Listen to me carefully. You can let it go, but you must agree to one condition. Shirlin Hu and others looked bewildered. This kid actually started talking to the beast. Can it understand? Seeing the lack of response from the two horned rhinoceros, Shirting couldn't help but feel a bit embarrassed on his face. If he had known earlier, he would have kept his voice down. After coughing lightly twice, he whispered again, if you can understand what I'm saying, then nod. Although the two-headed rhinoceros is just a ferocious beast, the ferocious beasts in the wilderness have already developed spiritual intelligence, some of which are ancient remnants and even smarter than humans. I saw the two-headed fire rhinoceros nodded lightly. A hint of shock appeared on everyone's faces, did this beast understand? Shi Ting's face also showed a hint of joy, it seems there is a play. If you agree, then nod. If you don't agree, then die for me. My younger brother has just turned four years old and still needs to drink animal milk. I see that you have plenty of milk and need to follow me back to Shirtsuan to provide animal milk for my younger brother, for one year. One year later, I will let you leave Shimura. Of course, during this period, I will ensure that you give birth to the fire rhinoceros baby smoothly, while also ensuring the safety of both of you Shirtishan's face once again showed a shocked expression, Zaya Tengzi is crazy, he actually wants to bring the ferocious beast back to Shirtsuan. Shirlin Hu nodded lightly and said, hmm, I think Zaya Tengzi's method is quite good. This way, Xiaonua can drink fresh animal milk every day. And these two horned rhinoceroses are not fierce beasts, even if measured, they dare not act recklessly. Shi Taizhan responded, brother whose words really make sense. Shi Taizhu turned around and chuckled inwardly, Xiao Tengzi is still very clever. When he grows up, he can eat both ends of the rhinoceros, and he can make a steady profit without losing anything. Cough. At this moment, Shi Teng spoke up and said, it's getting late, and there are even more ferocious beasts appearing at night. Let's hurry back. Shi Taizhan looked at his two-headed rhinoceros, licked the corners of his mouth, and then sighed lightly, ah, the duck that came to his mouth has flown away again. Tonight, everyone can only eat some wild fruits to satisfy their hunger. Upon hearing the words, Shi Ting's eyes couldn't help but brighten. Everyone has been working hard all day, how can we not have meat at night, wait for me. Shi Ting leaped up, and a few jumps flew towards the distant forest. Not long after, I only heard screams coming from the forest. Shi Ting was dragging a earth dragon that was hundreds of times larger than him in one hand, rushing towards him at lightning speed, rolling up waves of flying dust. Then, with a fierce force from both hands, the two earth dragons, which were about twice as large as the two-headed fire rhinoceroses, were directly thrown by him. Clear bloodstains appeared on their neck, which was also their fatal injury. Shi Tieshan's face showed an excited expression and he said, Earth Dragon, it's actually Earth Dragon. This guy's skin is even harder than his two-headed rhinoceroses. I've always wanted to get one to patch up the heavenly leopard. Although there is a dragon in the name of this Earth Dragon, it is actually just a huge mountain and forest ferocious beast, resembling a lizard. Apart from its rough skin and thick flesh, its defense is amazing, and it has no other powerful attack power. Everyone couldn't help but look at Shi Ting again, as it was so difficult for a group of them to capture a pair of headed rhinoceros. Xia Tengzi hunted and killed two earth dragons alone. This may be the difference in talent. A group of people were dragging two earth dragons, while Shi Ting sat upside down on the back of the two-horned rhinoceros, dragging his head with both hands, quietly looking up at the sky. The vast wilderness is boundless. Seeing a twin-headed rhinoceros approaching Shi Lu Xin couldn't help but be surprised. 
The emerald green branches gently brushed against the body of the two-headed rhinoceros, thinking that there were some special bloodlines or ancient relics in this animal's body. After checking for a while, there were no other findings except for the head female. Then he gave Shi Teng a disdainful glare. Seeing everyone returning with a full load, the whole village became lively again. Surround two earth dragons and two fire rhinoceroses in the middle. The children had never seen a living ferocious beast before, and couldn't help but be curious about these two-headed rhinoceroses. Xiao Bujian also woke up early and was looking for her brother everywhere. Watching Shi Tingjin ride on his twin-headed rhinoceros, he ran over with a joyful thud and then jumped into the air. Shi Tingxin reached out his hands with a sharp sense and held Shi Hao in his arms. Brother, where did you go? You didn't even bring anyone with you, said Shi Hao in a slightly angry milky voice Shi Ting placed Shi Hao on the back of the two-headed rhinoceros, gently stroking Shi Hao's head, look, this twin-headed rhinoceros is a gift from my brother to you. From now on, it will be your baby bottle, and you can drink fresh animal milk every day. Shi Hao held the bottle and sucked heavily, his face full of joy as he said, Thank you, brother. I've always loved drinking animal milk since I was a little one. Shi Ting then jumped up and landed lightly on the ground. I took a wooden gourd from the side, then cut through the chest of the earth dragon, and took out the best treasure blood, a full gourd. Shi Tianba was happy and said, Dad, this is the earth dragon you hunted. Why give Shi Ting the best treasure blood? Shi Lin Hu felt a bit ashamed, with a fiery expression on his rough face. I claim to be the number one warrior in Shimura, but if I were to directly say that these two earth dragons were hunted by Shi Ting, they wouldn't even be able to deal with the two-headed fire rhinoceroses. That's so embarrassing. The stone forest tiger frowned, wishing to slap and shout. This kid is really good at finding problems for me. Shi Ting took out the blood of the earth dragon treasure and quickly ran towards the village entrance, gently pouring it on the soil under the feet of the willow god. With a cheerful tone, he said, I can still talk as I say. These are the purest blood of the two earth dragons, still warm. They all show filial piety to sister Lu Shen. Lu Shen nodded lightly and said, You guys have a conscience. That's necessary. A gentleman's words are hard to recall. This is just an appetizer. In the future, I will even bring the precious blood of Jin Wu and Phoenix to my sister. Lu Xin coughed lightly twice and said in a deep tone, How dare you say, Jin Wu, Phoenix? They are ancient pure blood creatures, and their strength is far beyond your reach. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in at the foot of Lu Xin and obtaining 1,000 crop seeds. Shi Ting couldn't help but feel 100,000 grass mud horses rushing past in his heart. Crop seeds, Laozi has finally traveled through a different world and possesses a system, which is aimed at the Supreme Emperor. I'm not here to grow vegetables. However, on second thought, Shi Tsuan often suffers from food shortages, and women of all ages can only stay in the village. It's just right to plant these crops, at least to meet our basic needs. Maybe in this world, I can still eat tomato stir-fried phoenix eggs and potato dragon meat noodles. TSK TSK, thinking of this, Shi Ting felt inexplicably excited in his heart. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Blue Scaled Eagle Nest Check-In, Golden Winged Depeng Bird, for Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Blue Scaled Eagle Nest Check-In Golden Winged Depeng Bird, for collection, in any case, it was a daifengshu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables, and the people were full of joy. The village is filled with the laughter of children and a joyful atmosphere. The elder clan leader, Shi Yunfeng, led everyone to face the willow god and placed two large earth dragons on a stone. This was a large altar. The altar is built with huge stones and is very open, adjacent to broken old willow trees, like a small mountain. The bright red animal blood dyed the giant stone platform red, flowing along the engraved patterns on the stone surface, 
bright red, combined with the thick and long animal fur, shimmering scales in cold light and ferocious huge horns, it was shocking, and a fierce and desolate atmosphere rushed towards the face. Every time a ferocious beast returns from hunting, the old clan leader will lead the clan members to worship. It is said that all things have spirits, and I am grateful to the heavens for allowing the people of Shirtsuan to survive in this great wilderness. I am grateful to the Willow God for his protection of Shirtsuan. Everyone stood quietly in the crowd, following the old clan leader to recite spells. Shirhao's eyebrows were marked with a red mole by Shirting's too long bow blood, which looked like an animated version of the third prince Neza, very cute. Watching everyone so devout, Shirting couldn't say anything. Whether others believe it or not, he doesn't believe these things anyway. To shed blood on steel bones, my life is determined by me, not by heaven. Although there are some destiny arrangements in a person's life, they are not immutable. For a long time, the old clan finally finished the sacrifice, and everyone began to busy slaughtering and cutting the earth dragon. The children were also happily playing around, and the entire Shirtsuan village showed a scene of joy and harmony. Xiao Bu Jian rode on the back of his twin-headed rhinoceros, running back and forth on the square of Shirtsuan, and whenever he met someone, he said it was a gift from his brother. Causing envy from other children. In the evening, more than ten bonfires rose up in the center of Ishimura, hanging on top of them were huge pieces of tulong meat, which had already been roasted golden, emitting bursts of meat fragrance. Shi Qianba, Shi Hao, and several other children were already drooling with anticipation. In the nearby stone house, the old clan leader Shi Yunfeng let out a deep breath of turbid air in his mouth and said in a friendly tone, the injuries of the flying dragon are no longer a big deal. They should wake up tomorrow morning. Shirlin whose rough face nodded lightly, feeling a bit self-deprecating, it's all my fault for not having the ability to let the flying dragon brothers suffer such a serious injury. The old clan chief spoke in a low tone, in the vast wilderness world, there are many dangers, and wild beasts roam freely. It would be great if you could return safely. You don't have to blame yourself. However, I have some doubts. According to your strength, it is somewhat difficult to hunt down a twin-headed rhinoceros. How could it be possible to hunt down two earth dragons? Was it lucky to have found them again Shirlin who touched the back of his head and a silly smile appeared on his face. We didn't have such good luck this time. We almost came back empty-handed. Fortunately, Shirting suddenly appeared. Shirlin who recounted what happened after Shirting appeared. The old clan chief's emaciated face once again revealed a hint of shock. I know this son is extraordinary, but I didn't expect him to be so powerful at such a young age. Indeed, he is a genius in heaven. Shirlin Hu nodded fiercely and said, Yes, when I just saw Xiao Tingzi, I was also very shocked and worried that he might get injured. I didn't expect this kid to be so brave. As an uncle, I feel a bit ashamed. The old clan leader spoke again and said, You don't need to blame yourself. The vast wilderness is vast and boundless. In the capital city thousands of miles away, there are aristocratic families and sects outside the region. The disciples of those big families and sects are already talented, with unique martial arts and secret techniques. I heard there are some geniuses who, before reaching adulthood, can bombard and kill ancient relics with just one hand. Shirlin who spoke in shock, that little Tingzi must be that kind of genius. The old clan leader responded, Shir Tang and Shir Hao are not ordinary people. They will surely rise up in the wind and become famous in the wilderness someday. Shir Lin Hu didn't say much, just nodded lightly. The old clan chief gently stroked his white beard and said in a friendly tone, All right, let's go out. The meat should be cooked too. After dinner, Shirting handed over the food seeds to the old clan leader's grandfather. The old patriarch was so excited that he arranged for people to light a bonfire that night. Under the guidance of Shirting, he planted all the food seeds in the field. In the wilderness world, there is abundant spiritual energy and the growth rate of plants is extremely fast. 
I watered it that night and the next day, seedlings grew. Shi Teng, who eats meat every day, is also a bit tired. Looking at the huge corn field, his face shows a joyful expression. After a busy night, everyone woke up relatively late the next day. After getting up, Shi Teng wandered around the entire village without seeing any children. I began to have an ominous feeling in my heart. Then he went to the village entrance and asked Lu Shen, only to find out that several children had already slipped out of Shirtsuan. Shi Teng quickly told the clan leader's grandfather about this matter, everyone immediately divided into four small teams to go out and search for the children. After all, the world outside is so dangerous that they are all visible to all. Any ordinary ferocious beast can take their lives. Shi Teng searched alone outside the village for a long time. I also randomly checked in several places and obtained a set of martial arts techniques, as well as ten jars of Maotai. Finally, they were found on the blue scaled cliff. At this moment, several children are working hard to climb towards the mountaintop. The green scaled eagle is a massive ferocious eagle with the bloodline of ancient magic birds. It often feeds on giant elephants and resides on the top of the green scaled cliff. Last night while eating meat, Sherlin Hu told them that recently, the green scaled eagle is hatching cubs and has a hot temper, so it is not suitable to go out. I estimate these children are running towards the young blue scaled eagle. Although Sher Hao was the youngest among the children, he was also the most agile and left the others far behind. Sher Ting's eyebrows furrowed slightly. They were currently climbing, and if he suddenly appeared, it would actually scare them. If you want to fall off the cliff, you will definitely be shattered to pieces. Simply let them continue climbing and protect them in the dark. If these children were to take charge of guarding Shirtsuan alone in the future, they wouldn't have to worry about everything. Shi Hao climbed to the top of the cliff first, clung to his waist and standing on the top of the cliff with a milky voice. Shi Tianba, Pai Ho, why are you all so slow? Stimulated by Shi Hao, several children climbed even harder. Before long, a few children gradually climbed to the top of the mountain and cautiously walked towards the nest of the blue-scaled eagle. The skin monkey was a bit scared and said, Brother Xiong, are we really going in? I heard that the blue-scaled eagle is really fierce. Shi Qianba said with firm eyes, what are you afraid of? I heard my dad say, the blue-scaled eagle must be out hunting at this time. The first thing a young blue scaled eagle sees, it will recognize it as the dominant creature. If we have a blue scaled eagle, will we still worry about not having anything to eat in the future? Sure, Hao has the greatest courage when a few children are talking. Sure, Hao had already climbed onto the nest of the blue scaled eagle, and his two little hands picked up the blue scaled eagle's egg, which was the size of his face. Sure, Tianba was instantly unhappy when he saw it. Immediately, he shouted loudly, Shi Hao, let me down. That blue scaled eagle egg is mine. Shi Hao picked up the blue scaled eagle egg and raised his voice, saying, whoever catches it first, it's theirs. If you have the ability, come and take it. A fierce light appeared on Shi Tianba's face and he immediately rushed towards Shi Hao. Shi Hao held the egg of the green scaled eagle and jumped up, avoiding Shi Tianba. He quickly ran towards the outside of the green scaled eagle's nest. Several children immediately chased out. Shi Ting leaped from the nearby cliff to the top of the blue scaled bird's nest, which was the size of a pond. It can be seen how huge the body of the blue scaled eagle is. Ding, congratulations to the host for checking in at the blue scaled eagle nest and obtaining one golden winged great peng bird egg, which can be hatched. Ding, congratulations to the host for checking in at the blue scaled eagle nest and obtaining one dragon saliva pill, which can increase the growth speed of young beasts, golden winged depeng bird. It is the dominant bird among birds, carrying the kunpeng bloodline and feeding on dragons, covering thousands of miles. Bully Shi Teng looked at the egg emitting a faint golden light in the system item list, with a joyful expression on his face. This trip was not in vain. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Swallowing the green-scaled eagle, 
the Blue Scaled Eagle Treasure Technique. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Swallowing the Green Scaled Eagle, the Blue Scaled Eagle Treasure Technique, Click and Wipe. The Golden Winged Depeng Bird Egg in the System Item List actually cracked open. Shu Ting quickly took it out of the System Item List and placed it in the Green Scaled Eagle Nest. As the cracks grew larger, the entire eggshell instantly cracked and a bird's head popped out. Two black and snowy eyes rolled around and rubbed against Shu Ting's arms affectionately. Then he lightly pecked at the surrounding eggshells and swallowed them all, revealing his true body. Black feathers are exposed throughout the body, with a hint of gold on the wings and forehead, faintly exuding the aura of a dominant bird. Although just born, his body is already half the size of Shu Teng. Shu Teng's face showed a hint of joy as he bent down to gently caress the golden-winged rock bird. The golden-winged rock bird closed its eyes and enjoyed being caressed by Shu Teng. One person, one bird, appearing very intimate. Shu Hao raises monkeys, Xiao Yan raises snakes, Tang San raises rabbits, and Lin Dong raises minks. If you want to become a strong person, you have to raise an animal. Raising a bird on your own is not excessive, is it? As he spoke, Shu Ting took out the dragon saliva pill he had just checked in from the item list and handed it to the golden winged Depeng bird to take. Roar The golden winged rock bird let out a low roar in its mouth. My eyes were slightly closed, and a golden light enveloped me completely. Dragon saliva pill, as the name suggests, is the saliva that flows from the sleep of ancient real dragons. It has a strong ancient spiritual energy and can help ferocious beasts grow quickly. The golden light continuously magnified, completely occupying the entire blue scaled eagle bird's nest. Revealing a powerful aura. Shu Teng can clearly feel that the strength of the golden winged Depeng bird is constantly increasing far hundreds of times stronger than the previously hunted earth dragons. Shu Tang was careful not to get dirty and jump, filled with anticipation in his heart. It lasted for nearly half an hour before the golden aperture stopped zooming in, forming a golden giant egg. Roar Accompanied by a roar, a golden light blended into the body of the golden-winged rock bird, revealing a pool-sized golden-winged rock bird. The originally pitch black body was like thick ink. However, the gold on both wings and eyebrows became more prominent. Especially the golden touch on the eyebrows, invisibly adding a majestic aura of a king. Shu Teng jumped onto the back of the golden winged rock bird and gently stroked its head. I'll call you Xiao Jin in the future. The golden winged rock bird nodded lightly. Shu Teng was also very excited in his heart. With this guy, he should be able to traverse the wilderness. At least it can guarantee invincibility in the sky. Hee <laughs> hee. At this moment, a bird's cry could also be heard outside the cave, but its momentum was no match for that of the golden-winged rock bird. After all, this guy has Kuenpeng's bloodline inside his body. Shu Ting's face changed and he said, Not good, little one. There was a hint of worry on his face and his voice was a bit urgent as he said, Xiao Jin, get out quickly. The golden-winged rock bird quickly walked to the entrance of the cave, flapped its wings and soared for thousands of miles. Its huge wings spread out, and its entire body was a hundred chong long. Looking from the sky to the ground. Shu Hao was running quickly on the ground holding the blue-scaled eagle egg, and the blue-scaled eagle followed closely behind him to launch an attack. With a tremor, the blue feathers flew towards Shu Hao like sharp arrows. However, Shu Hao is indeed very fast, and it's not an exaggeration to call him a stone runner. Easily and cleverly dodged the attack of the blue scaled eagle. The blue scaled eagle is a massive ferocious eagle with the bloodline of ancient magic birds, often feeding on giant elephants. Adult blue scaled eagles also weigh tens of zhang and can be considered the hegemon in this area. At this moment, Shu Hao stumbled onto a stone on the ground, and a huge blue scaled eagle egg flew out in an instant. The blue scaled eagle was startled and let out a sharp hiss in its mouth. 
Shi Hao's body flipped flexibly in the air, holding on to the blue scaled eagle egg with both hands, and lightly landed on the ground. The blue scaled eagle became increasingly angry upon seeing this. With a tremor, a blue light shot out of his mouth and hit Shi Hao. Like a small shell, the entire ground instantly exploded and shattered, flying sand and rocks, and Shi Hao's entire body was also instantly shaken out. Shi Ting spoke up and said, Xiao Jin, are you the opponent of that green-scaled eagle? The golden-winged rock bird didn't speak much, a fierce bird cry came from the sky, piercing through gold and cracking rocks, covering the sky and moon. The blue-scaled eagle was startled. The golden-winged rock bird flapped its wings and rose at an extremely fast speed, instantly landing on top of the blue-scaled eagle. It slapped the blue-scaled eagle to the ground. Make a loud roar the sharp claws pressed the blue-scaled eagle directly onto the ground. Like an eagle catching a chick. The blue-scaled eagle struggled for a while, unable to move at all. Shi sure Hao got up from the ground and looked at the golden-winged rock bird in front of him, as well as the stone ting on the bird's back. With a joyful expression on his face, he exclaimed excitedly, Brother! Then, holding the blue-scaled eagle egg, he jumped onto the back of the golden-winged rock bird. Shi Tianba, Pai Ho, Shi Tian Bao, and others slowly ran over, panting heavily. Shi Tang, where did you come from, you big bird? Shi Ting shyly touched the back of his head and said, I was originally out to look for you. When I met this golden-winged giant rock bird, he might think I have a natural talent and insist on recognizing me as my master. The skin monkey looked delighted and said, Shirtin, can I touch your big bird? Shi Ting nodded and said, everyone is a member of the clan, of course that's no problem. The macaque slowly approached, cautiously approaching the golden-winged rock bird, just extending its right hand. The golden-winged rock bird's eyes burst out with a fierce light. The skin monkey was startled and stumbled and fell to the ground. Shi Teng immediately exclaimed, Xiao Jin, they are all my tribe members. Do not harm them. The golden-winged rock bird reluctantly closed its eyes. A few children caressed the body of the golden-winged rock bird, with a joyful expression on their faces, and their admiration for Shi Ting grew stronger. Only Shi Tianba stood on the side, feeling somewhat unwilling and filled with anger. Shi Linhu, Shi Taizhan and others also rushed over one by one. Seeing the scene in front of me, I was completely shocked. This kid is really extraordinary. Even the ancient ferocious beasts voluntarily agreed to recognize him as their master. Shi Ting fell down in front of the green-scaled eagle, but he didn't expect the former hegemon of this territory to become so tragic. Sure enough, big fish eat small fish, small fish eat shrimp, shrimp eat green mud, one thing reduces one thing. The blue-scaled eagle's eyes burst out with a fierce light, and a blue light immediately shot out of its mouth, hitting Shi Ting. Shi Ting leaped forward and dodged the attack of the green-scaled eagle. The face of the golden-winged rock bird also showed a fierce light, opening its bloodthirsty mouth, and a black light enveloped the blue-scaled eagle. Instantly devoured it into the abdomen. Everyone was immediately dumbfounded. Undoubtedly, carrying the Kuanpeng bloodline, he swallowed the green-scaled eagle directly. Immediately after, the golden-winged rock bird moved its beak slightly and gently spat out a precious bone. Shi Ting took it with his right hand and glanced at the rune on it. His face showed a hint of joy, and it turned out to be the unique Qing Tian treasure technique of the blue scaled eagle. With a wave of his right hand, he threw it to Shi Hao, which should have belonged to him as well. He is at least his own younger brother in this world, so he cannot be too stingy. Being a big brother on your own, you should take care of your younger brother more. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Unlimited Upgrade, First Meeting of Fire Spirit, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Unlimited Upgrade, First Meeting of Fire Spirit, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets, Shirlin Hu led everyone back to Shirtsuan. 
Shi Ting traveled alone in the vast wilderness, riding on a golden-winged rock bird. The entire wilderness was vast and boundless. One person and one bird wandered in the forest for a long time, and the harvest was quite fruitful. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in at the Fire God Bull territory and obtaining Xuanzhong Foot Asterisk 1, cast for the flame meteor Dark Iron, extremely hard and heavy. On the surface of the pitch black giant ruler, there are strange patterns that are somewhat blurry. Shi Ting took out the Xuanzhong ruler, picked it up slightly, and waved it left and right a few times, exuding a powerful and domineering aura. It is much more majestic than the heavenly axe. At this moment, Shi Tang was chasing a fire god bull on the ground, looking at its sturdy body. Shi Tang's face showed a joyful expression. I don't know how it tastes to make beef hot pot with this fire god cow. Don't run, don't run, come to the bowl quickly. Shi Ting leaped up and swung down with a Xuanzhong ruler in his hand, striking the divine cow with a tremendous force of 10,000 pounds. He forcefully smashed a deep pit. Shi Ting dragged the fire god bull's right foot and pulled it out. Looking at its sturdy body, he couldn't help but lick his lips. When making hot pot, beef tenderloin should be used to make it more tender. But we also need some beef bones to make a pot bottom. Xiao Jin, go fetch me some firewood. The golden-winged rock bird reluctantly flapped its wings and flew towards the forest. In no time, the ground was piled up with firewood, and the golden-winged rock bird spewed a flame from its mouth, igniting the entire pile of firewood. Shi Teng put the long-prepared large pot on the rack and poured in sweet spring water. Two packages of spicy hot pot seasoning obtained through system check that in were put in, and two 100,000-year-old fairy grass plants were also thrown in. Dragging the fire god bull to the side of the pot, cutting meat and cooking at the same time. This should be the correct way to open fresh beef, eat wherever you want. The entire small forest is permeated with a strong aroma. The golden-winged giant rock bird almost cried with envy. Shi Ting ate the beef in large gulps, his whole body shrouded in a faint light, and his small face flushed with excitement. I didn't expect to achieve hot pot freedom in a different world. Roar At this moment, a tiger roar soared into the sky, and a white-haired tiger with hanging eyes darted out of the forest. The huge tiger's body is six zhang long, and its eyes burst out with a fierce light. The word king in the center of its eyebrows reveals the king's domineering aura. A powerful aura swept towards the surroundings. Hot pot was almost blown over by its powerful airflow. Shi Teng's eyes lit up and he said, just in time, I don't know how this white tiger meat looks. If it were in a past life, it would be more than three years, less than five years. Shi Teng showed a wicked smile at the corner of his mouth and jumped up, blocking the path of the white-fronted tiger. This guy has three bloodstains on his abdomen, indicating that he is seriously injured. Shi Ting smiled faintly at the corner of his mouth and said, Little white cat, are you going to my pot yourself, or should I send you? Roar The white-haired tiger let out another roar from its mouth, and the roar of the tiger shook the mountains and forests. Exposed a sharp tiger tooth. Shi Ting's eyes shook and he said, Then let me send you to the western heaven. With both feet exerting force, he leapt up and threw a punch at the white-fronted tiger. Bai A Hu was seriously injured and moved slowly. He was punched by Shi Ting and flew out, rolling his body several times on the ground. Then he got up again and immediately rushed towards Shi Ting. Clouds follow dragons, winds follow tigers. Extremely fast, emitting a strong aura. The huge tiger palm had a tremendous power of 10,000 pounds, and Shi Ting leaped out in one step, avoiding the attack of the white tiger. A giant wooden object with a thick arm was hard and hard, and it split it into two pieces. White tiger did not stop, opened his bloodthirsty mouth and rushed towards Shi Ting again. Shi Teng revealed a wicked smile at the corner of his mouth as he unleashed the blue dragon tearing hand. Two blue dragons roared out, their sharp claws cutting through the body of the white tiger. 
the white tiger immediately crawled on the ground, motionless. Shi Teng spoke up and said, hand over the treasure technique, I'll give you a happy one. The white tiger raised its head and let out a roar, and a white light flashed all over its body, completely cutting off its vitality. Unexpectedly self-destructive treasure technique. The personality of ferocious beasts has always been arrogant, and the stronger the strength of ferocious beasts, the more arrogant their personality becomes. Most of them would rather self-destruct their bodies and surrender their treasures. Shirting glanced at the white tiger on the ground. This white tiger is full of treasures. Tiger bones can be used to make tiger bone wine, and sharp fangs can be used as decorations or weapons. White tiger skin can be used to make white tiger fur. Hee <laughs> hee, let's taste this white tiger meat first. Shi Ting grabbed the white tiger's tail and threw him directly in front of the firewood. Just turned around, a fiery red figure quickly fell to the ground. Lyran is a young girl, about 15 or 16 years old, with a full and translucent forehead, a melon seed face, curved eyebrows, and sparkling eyes like crystals, exuding a spiritual radiance. The skin is snow.white, the figure is tall, and the soft small waist swings like a snake with a very beautiful curve. Shi Ting's eyes couldn't help but brighten. Having been in the wilderness for so long, it was the first time he had seen any other woman besides Shimura. Not to mention such a beautiful little girl. Whether it is beauty, temperament or body, it is enough to hang up all the beautiful women TikTok has seen in previous lives. Shi Ting couldn't help but swallow his saliva, with an excited expression on his face. I haven't seen a woman for a long time, and he used to feel that the female monkeys on the tree were quite friendly. Shi Teng is preparing to go up and strike up a conversation. The little beauty's face showed a fierce light, and with a wave of her right hand, a series of fireballs immediately hit Shi Teng. Nima, I just gave him an extra glance. Why start fighting without saying a word? Shi Teng quickly jumped up and dodged the young girl's fireball. While dodging, a figure suddenly came to mind. This figure, this appearance, this fireball, is he the daughter of the fire emperor, Huo Ling'er. Thinking of this, Shi Teng felt an inexplicable excitement in his heart. I didn't react for a moment and was hit by a fireball in my chest, and my whole body was immediately thrown out. Cough cough. Shi Teng lay on the ground, spewing out a black smoke from his mouth. Huo Ling'er walked over from the side, with a fierce light on her face, and angrily said, Damn it, you dare to kill my prey. Shi Ting suddenly realized that he had hunted and killed her white tiger. No wonder this little girl is so angry. But lying on the ground, looking from bottom to top, there is actually a different scenery. At this moment, Huo Ling'er sniffed lightly twice, and a hint of doubt appeared on her face. Then he looked towards the nearby big pot. There is also the fire god bull on the ground. This Shi Ting seized the opportunity and rushed forward, directly throwing Huo Ling'er onto the ground. A mischievous smile appeared on her face, little girl, you look so beautiful. Come with me back to the village and my younger brother will be my wife. Although Huo Ling'er is very beautiful and Shi Ting is also very tempted, in the perfect world, Will linger and sure how our true love, let him have it. Anyway, there's still Yinshi, the witch, and the female war god waiting for me. Huo Linger angrily said, Thief, seek death. A firelight shot up into the sky and once again knocked Shirting away. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in with Huo Linger and receiving Phoenix Essence and Blood Asterisk. One Shirting's face moved slightly, can we still sign in now? Before Shi Teng could react, Huo Ling'er took another step and kicked him away with one kick. Fortunately, Shi Teng is pregnant with an ancient dragon body and naturally resistant to beating, otherwise the dog's life would be in danger. Huo Ling'er has launched several attacks. If it were an ordinary person, he would have died long ago, but Shi Teng seems to be fine. I got up from the ground, patted the dust off my body, and said in a friendly tone, how about it? Are you tired from fighting? 
If you're tired, eat some hot pot to replenish your energy before fighting. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Taking my brother back to be wife, for collection and tickets. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10. Taking my brother back to be wife, seeking collection, seeking tickets, while Linger snorted lightly and said, I don't want to eat. I was also secretly shocked in my heart, I didn't expect this guy who looked similar to me to resist beating so much. Shi Teng ignored Hua Linger and walked alone to the hot pot to eat. While eating and nodding, his face showed a look of enjoyment and he said, Hmm, this beef is cooked a bit old. Watching Shi Ting eat so well, coupled with the aroma of hot pot permeating the air, Hua Linger's stomach couldn't help but growl. Raising his head slightly, he swaggered over. Pick up a piece of beef with chopsticks and put it in your mouth. Shi Teng looked up at her and chuckled lightly, aren't you not eating? Hua Linger's face showed a blush when she was spicy, and she said arrogantly, I want to eat again now. Shi Teng is too lazy to talk to her too much. Anyway, my younger brother will have to endure it in the future, and he will definitely be beaten every day. After just taking a bite, Hua Linger fell completely in love with hot pot. Although it was a bit spicy and tingling, the strong stimulation also made her whole body's cells burn. I didn't expect there to be such delicious food. Hua Linger ate several pieces of beef in a row. Short hands for holding people, short mouths for eating people. After coughing a few times, he said, I ate your hot pot, and even if you hunt down my white tiger, it's even now. Shi Ting smiled and said, if you say it's even, then it's even. I have to take you back to the village to be my brother's wife. Hua Linger's eyes burst out with a fierce light, which frightened Shi Tang, afraid that she would kick the hot pot away with just one kick. Quickly changing his tune, how about we taste this white tiger meat? Hua Linger held chopsticks in her hand and nodded thoughtfully. She also wanted to taste this white tiger meat. The entrance is smooth and tender, and the taste is much better than that of the fire god bull. Immediately after, Shi Teng ran to the forest to pick some fresh mushrooms. Two people ate half of the fire god ox and one tiger leg. Hua Linger gently caressed her lower abdomen with her right hand, her rosy face revealing a joyful expression, and her anger had long disappeared without a trace. Then she took another sip of soup, and surprisingly, a red light emanated from her body, enveloping her. Hua Linger's face showed a hint of shock. Ah, I actually broke through now. Shi Teng chuckled lightly and said, Of course, this is a perfect tonic soup with 100,000 years of immortal grass inside. I saw Hua Linger sitting cross-legged, revealing three caves around her, and the surrounding spiritual energy began to surge towards her. Shi Teng's eyebrows moved slightly, and surprisingly, this girl had already opened up three caves. Above the blood-moving realm is the cave heaven realm. Opening up a cave is equivalent to taking away the creation of heaven and earth, continuously absorbing external gods and replenishing one's own body, with a maximum of ten caves. Generally speaking, opening up ten caves is already very difficult. In a perfect world, only Shuri, Yi, Yu Chan, and others can achieve it. After opening up the tenth cave, Shi Hao felt that there was still a way to go in this realm, so he replayed the ten great caves. The newly opened cave was incredibly grand, emitting endless divine energy. Afterwards, Shi Hao made a desperate effort to connect the ten heavenly holes with each other, forming a brilliant divine ring. Shi Hao stood in the center of the divine ring, forming a physical heavenly hole. The ten heavenly holes resonated, and his essence flowed in. Shi Teng had long felt the majestic power within himself, like the water of the Yellow River, surging and majestic. It's also time to challenge the cave realm. The blood-moving realm ultimately only emphasizes strength, and only by entering the cave realm can one have a small foothold in the nine heavens and ten earths. Shi Teng spoke up and said, Xiao Jin, protect me. The golden-winged rock bird let out a low roar from its mouth, bulging its body and standing on the ground, looking increasingly massive. 
Shu Ting sat cross-legged, running the blue sky dragon transformation technique inside his body. I only heard a dragon roar soaring into the sky, and the surrounding spiritual energy unexpectedly rushed towards Shu Ting's be pupae like seawater, instantly merging into his body. The surrounding spiritual energy is directly absorbed by Shu Ting. Huo Ling'er was forced to wake up from the breakthrough. I was originally planning to have a fight with Shu Teng, but she didn't break through, so no one wants to break through. But when she opened her eyes, she was completely dumbfounded. I saw a huge green dragon enveloping Shu Teng's body, revealing a golden cave on his forehead. Endless spiritual energy swarmed into it, forming a huge vortex. Huo Ling'er's face showed a hint of shock. Well, this kid has opened his first cave and surprisingly has such great power. The surrounding spiritual energy is depleted, Shirting vaguely felt that the breakthrough was somewhat interrupted, but now it has entered the final stage. If it fails, it will have an impact on his future cultivation. With a slight movement of thought, a 100,000-year-old chicken crown phoenix sunflower formed a phantom of a phoenix and merged into its first cave. Immediately after, there is endless ferocious beast treasure blood, nearly a hundred pieces of ferocious beast essence and treasure bones. These stone tings were originally intended to be brought back to Shirtsuan. Huo Ling'er was completely dumbfounded. With so many things, can this kid absorb them? Don't explode and die. Roar. A roar echoed from deep within Shirting's heart, and the body of the ancient dragon began to materialize like a dragon coiled around Shu Ting's body. Although it was just the first cave, even Huo Ling'er was shocked by the power it emitted. Who is practicing here, actually absorbing the surrounding spiritual energy? At this moment, four cultivators suddenly jumped out of the forest, about thirty years old, with three big characters on their dark brown clothes revealing the demon spirit lake. When they saw this scene, they were completely stunned. The first cave is so amazing. Look, there are so many essence elements and precious bones in his cave sky. I didn't expect there to be such a talented young man in the wilderness. A slender young man next to him spoke up, Boss, what should we do now? What should we do? Of course it's a fight. If we let it grow, we'll have another powerful opponent in the demon spirit lake. The four of them showed a hint of greed on their faces and immediately rushed towards Shu Teng. At present, Shu Teng is breaking through and cannot be distracted at all. If there is a slight discomfort and the cave explodes, it is very likely to die and disappear. Even if one does not die, it will have a great impact on their own cultivation. Huo Ling'er naturally knew the seriousness of this. With a wave of her right hand, for fireballs immediately hit the four people's feet and said, Stop, you dare to act recklessly. Don't blame me for being impolite to you. The leading man looked at Huo Ling'er in front of him and couldn't help but show a wicked smile at the corner of his mouth. Little girl, you're developing quite well. Looking at the lewd gaze in the man's eyes, Huo Ling'er instantly became furious. Seeking death. With one swift step, a series of fireballs immediately hit the four people. Four people jumped up and quickly dodged, forming a siege on Huolinger. Looking at the majesty emanating from the four of them, Huolinger's eyebrows slightly froze, and she was actually a cultivator from the four heavenly realms. Both are in the cave realm, and if they are of the same level, Huolinger will naturally be invincible. But the other party has four caves, which is a bit tricky. The big man led by him showed a fierce light on his face and a phantom of a greedy wolf all over his body. He immediately rushed towards Huo Ling'er. The other person didn't stop, holding a magic knife and pressing towards Huo Ling'er. Huo Ling'er's eyes burst out with a fierce light, flame shock, a raging fire formed around them and swept around, instantly blocking the four of them back. Brothers, please give me a reward to increase the popularity of this book. If there are conditions, I can do it. If there are no conditions, it's okay. It's the same with some free recommendation tickets. The whole book is free, always free, this is also a benefit for brothers. End of this chapter.